It's Sammy from Scrapmasters Paradise, and today I am super excited because I am giving you guys a room tour. So just a disclaimer, the room is not completely organized yet. I still have a couple of things that I want to work on, and I will probably post another one of these maybe sometime in the fall when I get things a little bit more finalized, but I was so excited to get the room basically most of the way set up. So I'm gonna walk you through the room and show it to you guys. I will leave my previous tour down below. I think I walked through more of the shelves and drawers. So they're basically the same. I still haven't gone through and reorganized the drawers very well since moving into this house. The main reason why I reorganized the room was to fit in with our workouts a little bit better. I did end up getting a Peloton. You can see it right there. It was in the, basically in the middle of the room as you walk into the room and there was no shelving or anything by it. And I really needed like a, a cubby to keep stuff. Like I need tissues, I need my AirPods, I need a chapstick. I just needed some extra stuff right next to the bike. Where it was before, I could not reach anything. So having it right next to the shelf has been really, really helpful. I love having it like that. Unfortunately, I don't know that I like it in the background of my videos. So I may have to move things around so I can adjust um, my background settings. But basically that was the main motivation for me, moving things around. I just needed a better place for the bike. And right now I'm really happy with that placement. I reorganized furniture. My corner desk is still the same, but I moved around the rest of the things. Before I show you guys everything, most of the furniture pieces are Ikea pieces. Like this is a Kalax unit. My desktops are, I think it's pronounced Linmon and the legs, I will leave a link to those. And I also purchased new legs off of Amazon because I did not want to go all the way across town to go to Ikea. And my little drawer desk units are also Alex drawers. So most of the components are Ikea. That's something that constantly gets asked on these room tours. People always ask me, where did I get everything? These um, teal and white office chairs are actually from Staples. I ended up getting two of them, falling completely in love with them, ordering more. And so I think we have like five of these around the house. I just really like them. They have since been redesigned so they're a little bit different but i will try to link to those down below as well long time ago purchases but i will try to link to as many things and mention as many things in the description box for you guys so you can check there if you have questions on any of the furniture components otherwise let's go ahead and jump into the tour okay so first this is how you come in the room we've got a french door set up here it is considered an office in our floor plan for our house you can see olivia does like art stuff out there and leaves it everywhere and so when you're walking in the room here is the basic setup. We've got a cube shelf. This is an old Target cube shelf. We've got a small Ikea table. We've got a longer Ikea table and we've got a corner Ikea table. And then the Alex drawer units are on the side of that. So I did change the configuration a little bit as far as the desks. And then I put the Peloton over on that side. It was actually right here with the cube shelf upright right there, short desk, corner desk, long desk all the way back. And I liked that I could move the Peloton. It wouldn't be viewed right from these doors because of course it's glass. So everything that is right here, you can kind of see from the little hallway right there. And I just didn't like the bike being the first thing when you walk in the room. And again, like I have to adjust this. It's full of kids crap and stuff. We've got to move things around, but I like this clean look better than having the bike front and center. And I like the bike being next to the shelf. Going further around, we've got the bike, and then we've got my four by four Ikea Kalax unit. So it's another cube shelf. And since these are double doors, the door will open up and hit this. So I just put a little baby childproof thingamabob on there to say that. And then I do have their little kids floor mat in here, and that's our exercise mat now. The kids actually don't use it or need it anymore. So there's just a rug in the playroom, and now the mat's in here for us to work out with. And so this is mostly scrapbook room, but also an exercise room now. Johnny does work out with me four days a week. So we have our weights in here. There's more exercise-y type things in this cube. We also have the fan in here because this room gets really hot. We are going to be doing a couple things to this room over time. There's just more things on our to-do list and this is kind of a lower priority, but we are going to get probably shutters for the window here because that lets in a lot of sunlight and a lot of heat and this room stays hotter than the rest of our house. It's like the furthest from our air conditioning unit. And it's also got really tall ceilings and it also has the light coming in. We've had AC people out to adjust the balance and it's just the hottest room in the house. It doesn't matter how cold the rest of the house is, this room stays a little bit warmer and it makes it harder to work out. So we do have a fan in here. We may end up getting more fans. We will definitely put in a ceiling fan of some sort up there. That's another thing that's on our list. So we will do the shutters at some point and then a ceiling fan up there and we'll have it drop down a little bit 
and hopefully that will also help with it. Uh, but those are the two things on our list for this room. Otherwise, I have to put up some art. I plan on doing some art above that part of the desk, maybe some shelves. Like I really like this shelf, but I may do like more shelves up there. And then I want to have a gallery wall on this side of the room. At some point I had a teal and white desk in here and that has gone into Olivia's room so she can do some art up there. And so as far as like bill paying, paper organization, I've got that. That's what we use for all of our paperwork. Most of our stuff is paperless now, but there are a couple of things I still have to physically pay and we still get like pay stubs and some paperwork we have to keep. So I keep everything contained in there. And then the rest is just arts and scrapbook and office type stuff. I've got my inks over here for now. That's something that may move around at some point, but for now I just stuck it there. This table has legs from Amazon. So these are just Amazon legs. They are a little bit thicker than the Ikea legs. You can see actually back there, the two legs next to each other. And so I ended up having to raise up the Ikea legs. All of them are adjustable at the bottom to make these more level with each other. And you can see it's not 100% level. <laughs> I still need to adjust it a little bit. Oh, we also have a paper shredder here for office stuff. And then these two little plastic drawer units are for Olivia's art stuff. She'll come in here and play art while I scrapbook, or she'll just come and play art even more than I scrapbook. This one's missing a drawer, so I'm hoping that we will get everything combined into just one so we can have just one. This plastic drawer unit is paper. It's all nicely organized. And then I've got cutting mats and a scoreboard on top. And then these will be hung up in my gallery wall at some point. I've got to get frames and find other artwork I like, print some photos. These are just diamond paintings. I have two of these. So I went through a little phase of doing that. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. <laughs> if people still do with the diamond paintings, but they're really fun to do. So I've got that and then a little rainbow elephant one that will go up. And since I wanted this to take up the entire wall, I was left with a gap. So I've got this gap right here. And then I decided to just stick two bins in here. So I've got my paper and some of my newer stuff right where I can grab it really easily. This desk is basically set up the same way. I film right here. I've got this clamped on with a quick grip. This is actually just the top of a tripod. I've said this, if you watch any of my videos, I've said this in like every, scrapbook room update I just wound this all the way up and then cut it off with a saw and so it's just a monopod now instead of the full tripod and this is an Amazon basics and it has a quick release here so I can clamp my camera on really easily and it's the exact same tripod that I cut down so it also has a quick release and then I can just move my camera if I'm sitting in front of the camera I use the tripod if I'm filming something overhead I'm using this and this is a Sony Alpha A5000. They have made newer versions of this. It's a few years old, but I still love it and use it. And then I have an AC adapter, so it's plugged into the wall. I don't have to worry about batteries at all. And so this is basically the same setup. These came from Target years ago. These also came from Target years ago. Um, these little paper units also came from Target years ago. There's my cutting tool. Uh, this mat was from Amazon, so I will try to link to that for you guys. The lamps are also Ikea. They are adjustable, so at night I can use them and I can just turn them on and off. Of course, it's not plugged in. <laughs> I don't know if this one's plugged in either. Yeah, that one's plugged in. So I can do some filming at night. Sorry, that messed up the white balance. And then up there on the shelf, I've just got some picture frames, some pens, some art, um, a thing of vintage colored buttons. Over here, I've got my paper. Um, 12 by 12 organizers here. And then stuff on top needs to be dealt with. Some of it is gonna be framed, like this one Olivia made in art class. I just absolutely love it. I just love everything about it. She was in kindergarten. <laughs> so I'm gonna frame some of her artwork, hang it up on the wall. So some of that, that, some of it's her kindergarten portfolio that needs to be put in a keepsake. Some of it can be recycled. Um, I've got also a little cutting board for her, various little things that need to be dealt with. And then over here, I have just a bin also from Target. It's just a really old Target dollar spot thing with embellishments and stuff in it. Like I said, I'm not gonna walk through every drawer, but here's like my junk drawer, my essentials drawer, embellishments and stickers and all sorts of things, stamps in this one. You get the idea. Then I have more planner style stuff on this side. And then actually under the desk, I've got a garbage can and then two more of the little plastic drawer units I've got 
um, ribbon in the top one, twine and tulle in the second one. Um, that says photo, so it's like old photos, photos that still could be developed, like the little film rolls that we've never done anything with. And then I also have some color swatches in there, perler beads, art supplies, refills of things for there. And then over here on the cube shelf, I've got more paperwork. I do the two-year um, paperwork thing. So it's just a revolving two-year paperwork thing. So I've got odds and even year in there. Then I've got albums, planners, journals, various paper things. Then a couple of empty ones because I did end up going through some stuff. And then I've got my workout section here. Usually I have tissues, but I used the last one. So I've got to replace that. Yoga blocks, my little roller thing, my chapstick, and... My AirPods go there. This plastic thing I ended up purchasing off of Amazon. I will try to link to that. It is divided down the middle. You can see the little divider, hopefully. So you can do two rows of stamps or dies in there. I may end up getting another one of those at some point and organizing those a little bit better. I've got two of the just fabric bins. This one has sewing supplies in it. And then this one has crocheting supplies. And um, there's some cross stitch and old diamond painting stuff as well in that one. Here's just yarn for crocheting. Up top, I've got the sewing machine. I just pull that down as needed, which is very rare. I'm not really a sewer. And then our printer, um, my bag I got from Stampin' Up! a long time ago. I can't remember how long ago. <laughs> it was a long time. And then some various doodads up here. And that's pretty much it. It's basically the same setup hey, you guys have seen before. It's just a little bit rearranged. So I will try to link to everything for you guys as much as I can. And hopefully I will have another tour where things are hung up. I would love to do like floating corner shelves up here, a couple shelves up so I can put more doodads and decorations and make it look a little bit nicer than that little shelf. Uh, but that's something that's low priority right now. Oh, also I put out um, some of these little traveler's notebooks that are so beautiful. They are from Freckled Fawn and they are just gorgeous. I've got my Copics there as well. And I think that's pretty much it. And that is it for today. I hope you guys liked the tour of my scrapbook room. Like I said, I will be updating a few things. I will show you guys the finished product. Johnny always makes fun of me because I like to reorganize the room every so often. So he's like, okay, in like a year and a half, I'll help you reorganize it again <laughs> because I just like to change it up a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.